Don't forget, our holiday sale at shopstcg.com is on now in full force. You could uh, make your own bundle and save up to 800%. That's probably not right. What is 30%? Something. That's a better number. That you can do. That's realistic. We haven't made a burrito for a while and we'll take care of that today by making what will be an epic blackened steak wet restaurant style burrito. So maybe the term wet with a burrito doesn't sound all that great. Max was like, I don't think I like the way that sounds, but that's how I know them. I know them as a wet burrito. Restaurant style, yes. A smothered burrito, is that better? Smothered. We're using green enchilada sauce. The steak will be nicely spiced, blackened almost, and cooked in the cast iron pan until it's perfect, beautiful, the medium rare inside, sliced thin, and it goes. We're making rice and beans, two things that we love. There'll be cheese involved, and then the whole thing will come together and we'll eat it and be super happy. By the way, if you're new here, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. If you wouldn't mind, uh, hit subscribe. Leave us a comment for what you might like to see us make sometime because we're all about what you want to see. We're gonna start with some rice and beans, get them going, get the steak happening, and then it's, you know, our rice and beans each begin with a little oil and some diced yellow onion. Little in each. We just want to give a little stir, get them coated with some of the oil, and let them start to cook, soften. We'll give these each about uh, three minutes. For our rice, we will now add one cup of rice, give it a stir, and we're just looking to toast this a bit. So we'll give this, you know, four or five minutes, stirring occasionally. The other side for our beans, we'll put in one can of drained pinto beans. They look like this. We'll give this a little mix. And the heat over the next four or five minutes, while the rice is doing its thing, will start to soften the beans, letting us mash them a little easier. To the rice, we now add some oregano, some cumin, garlic powder, and a pinch of salt. And we'll mix that up. Ooh. I always say when you throw seasonings into a hot pot or pan and they start to toast, the smell just explodes. The rice gets just a minute or two like that. To the beans, we're gonna add some cumin and a little garlic powder and we'll mix. This is the reserved bean juice. So I'm gonna start adding a little and as this heats up, this too will make it easier for us to mash. But we'll leave that for a minute. We come back to the rice. We add two more things. One will be eight ounces of tomato sauce and one and three quarter cups chicken stock. And of course you could use vegetable stock if you didn't want that, but it's a steak burrito, so I'm guessing you're not gonna worry about the animal protein part of it. This we want to bring to a little boil. And the beans, we can now start to mash a bit. And I'm using one of these guys. I'm a creature of habit. I say the same thing almost every time at this point. You can mash as much as you want. I do like some chunky bits in here. To each his bean own. A little bit more of the bean juice. And of course, the longer the beans sit in the bean juice in this little simmering pot, the softer they'll get and the easier it will be to mash them. Back to the rice, just coming up to a boil. Make sure you give it a good stir because you don't want rice sticking to the bottom of the pot. It's just starting to bubble a little bit. That's good. We're going to put a lid on it, keep our eyes on it. We won't let it boil. A little simmer's good. We'll check back in about 15 minutes. We'll keep our eye on the beans. These things are going to sit here by themselves now while we tend to the steak. Here's our beautiful little ribeye that we're going to cook. You could use any cut you like. We're partial to ribeye, but let's make a little seasoning blend for it first in this little bowl. And we will give it the following. We're staying on theme. Cumin, garlic powder, smoked paprika, good pinch of salt, lots of black pepper. Doesn't have to be everywhere Sam does it. Let's mix, fingers work best. Let's get our steak back. Give it a little oil all the way around, just a little. This is neutral oil, it happens to be avocado oil. Could be vegetable, could be canola. Just save the expensive olive oil and the much more expensive extra virgin olive oil for some other time. This is not the place. And now we season quite aggressively. Do a nice job all the way around. And when you're done, let's get some heat, a pan and get going. A little extra oil in the pan and in comes the steak. Sizzle, sizzle. Because I want perfect contact, even cooking, put a little weight on top. Our plan will be to turn our steak every minute and a half or two minutes. I believe it gives you a much better level of even doneness. So take your time, relax, don't go away, hang out, all will be well. And after about a minute, that's what we're looking for. You blacken like this, that means one thing, that's flavor and crispness, of course. But we're just gonna continue to do this until it's somewhere around 125 degrees. We'll pull it off, it'll continue to rise a little bit, but I'm looking for this to be medium rare in this burrito. All right, we're there. 
This is everything I want. Oh, it's beautiful. Right, we let this rest 10 minutes, our other stuff will be ready, and we build. It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that I believe I completely fucked my steak, and not in the good sense. I, um, I, I overcooked it. I checked it, it was about 114, and I took my eyes off the prize, and when I took it off, just a second ago, you saw me take it off, it's reading like 150. I don't know what happened. <sighs> Let's cut it and see what, I don't know. Let's just cut it. Well, there it is. And it looks beautiful and it smells beautiful, but looks and smells are not everything. I hate to do this. One, two, and, oh. Okay, well, maybe it worked. I'm telling you, it read 150 when I put it in. Holy shit, that's really pretty, isn't it? So thin pieces, thin bites. Oh my God, it's perfect. And this crust on the outside is, is everything. And then again, it's a burrito. Smaller bites are gonna be better for eating it. And when you've got a gorgeous pile like this, put it on something, get your tortilla and get ready. And here we are. One big, beautiful, warm tortilla. Warm so it'll be more pliable. First thing down will be some rice. This gorgeous red, beautiful smelling rice. Now our steak and a nice amount. Oh, I like that. Oh man, I don't know who cooked this, but boy, did they nail it. And not in the good sense. Two more things. Refried beans, shredded Monterey Jack. Oh, and there's more cheese coming. And we roll. One big, snug, gorgeous steak burrito. But here's what we do. We bring in the dish, we're gonna bake them in, and down goes some Green enchilada sauce. Just enough to coat the bottom. Our buddy sits on top, seam side down. Oh, this is perfect. We coat more on the top. This is what makes it wet and or smothered. And yeah, wet maybe isn't the best term in the world. And now more cheese. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will now go into about a 400 degree oven. Oh, 10, 15 minutes till everything is warm through, melty and gorgeous. There it is after 10 minutes. But wait, cause we're not done yet. Two things, a little bit more of the enchilada sauce. Like that. Tiny bit more cheese, because can there ever be too much cheese? No, there can't. My broiler's on. It's gonna go under for about uh, 30 seconds just to crisp up and get gorgeouser. And I'll be back. And here we are. Wow, hi there, buddy. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Put you like that. And that is pretty as a picture. Two more things, a little cilantro and me. I like green onion on it too. Oh, that's a, wow, that's one hearty, soaking wet verde burrito, restaurant style. Well, it's about as, oh God, this is hot. It's about as pretty as it could be. I think we should cut it in half and see what we've got. And it might be overkill, but I thought a Sam the Cooking Guy steak knife would be the right thing to use. By the way, you go to shopstcg.com to get a set of four of them. So let's just orient this guy. We'll go right here. Damn. Well, I'd say I think we did a mighty fine job here, lads. Wouldn't you? That cheese melting in the bottom. Well, I know what I want. I want a big ass bite of this thing. I'm just, I'm gleeking. I got internal gleekage going on. And it's a knife and fork proposition. Seldom with a burrito, right? Damn, look at this thing. There's some fat eating here. And I mean that in the best way possible. It's rude. I'm not 100%, but I think they call it restaurant style because you have to eat it with a knife and fork as opposed to, you know, animal style. It's restaurant quality. This is so damn good. The steak turned out great. Yes, perfectly medium rare where I want it. But I'm telling you, all that seasoning on top is really coming through right now. And then the rice, the beans, the cheese is, you know, just the dressing on the pig. A terrible expression. It's a terrible expression. This is fantastic though, so you should make this. You should give us a like, you should hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and you should, you should tell us what you want us to make because we want to make what you want to eat. Does that make sense? It made sense. All right, thanks for hanging out with us. We love that you're here.